Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Today is a very special day. I, I've done the counting, and it appears that today is my 50th anniversary beer review special. So I thought I'd do something special. Uh, I was at LCBO, and I just so happened to stumble upon the last gift pack of something I've never actually quite seen before. It was six dollars and ninety-five cents for the Hobgoblin glass and bottle set, which is pretty cool. Um, you get a 500 milliliter bottle. It's 5.2 percent ABV. It's traditionally crafted legendary ruby beer. Now, check this out. That is a story. It explains everything about the Hobgoblin. So rather than reading it to you, like I've done in the past, I, it's incredibly boring. I, I'm just, I'm actually going to type it all up for you on the description. So if you're really interested in what it says, I'll type it up there because I, I, you probably can only read this in the back. Uh, and we're dealing with uh, Witchwood Brewery and it says since 1983, which is also really cool because that's my birthday. So check out the top here. I'm going to pop it off. It's funny actually, this is the first time I've ever left something by my by my windowsill. So this is actually windowsill temperature. Now in the bottom you got the glass. Pull it out. And you got this really, really cool hob special hobgoblin glass. It came with this little protector thing at the bottom. Check it out. Wicked, wicked hobgoblin glass. I'm looking forward to having that. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny, on the picture, if you look on the picture, it looks like it's kind of like a, like a gray looking, translucent kind of, uh, glass, but, unfortunately, that was not the case. So, here it goes, windowsill temperature, hobgoblin. I've never actually used the windowsill before, but it being spring in, uh, in Canada, still quite cold out there and that makes this quite cold it's perfect up here for Witchwood Brewery you got a cool little uh, witch on a on a broom and uh, yeah more witches more brooms and uh, there you hold on a sec there you have it a wicked hobgoblin cap all right the only thing wrong with this scenario is I don't have anything to pop it with. Oh yes I do. I'm gonna use the trusty lighter. Hope everybody likes my uh Beneath the Massacre shirt. Love those guys, also from Canada. Alright, here goes. I was like ammunition man. I actually uh, I actually scratched my neck with that. Holy smokes. Mmm, smells good. And now, if you don't pour this into a glass, this isn't going to taste as good. This is one of those beers has that that type of character to it. Now, as you can tell by the color, it's really holding up to its its name. It is a very amber colored beer. This has got quite the significant head for something that I poured quite well. All right, so look at that. I got like a freaking four finger, three finger, four finger head going on here. Hobgoblin. Wow, I don't really know what to pick up in the smells. I'm just getting a very malty, very syrupy aroma. So everybody, cheers. Let's see how uh, the Hobgoblin tastes. That head has a -hoo -hoo! very, very grainy taste to it. I'm glad I didn't have this too cold because the, the flavors in this beer are very, very subtle. And if I were to have made this a little too cold, it would have actually taken away from the flavors. Wow. Very interesting. 
I've had this before, but I was a lot younger and I immediately went, ew. This is uh, one of those acquired taste beers. If you don't if you don't drink beer regularly, this brew is not for you. What did it say on the back here? I noticed it says something really cool. Nah, whatever. Way too much to read, everybody. I'm gonna bore the heck out of you. Definitely worth trying. When you pour it, though, try to get as little head as possible because that head is pretty disgusting. <laughs> if the beer tasted like the head, I'd be having a hard time right now. Man, I love this goblin, dude. He also, it also kind of looks like one of those, like, World of Warcraft. Sorry, not, I don't play that game. One of those Warcraft characters that used to chop down the trees. You know, War, War, Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2. Come on. If you're drinking beer now, you were playing video games back then. I really don't even know what to say about the taste of this beer. You can tell it's in the bubbles even. Uh, very carbonated. You can't quite see it, but there's bubbles going up like crazy, like a, like a can of soda. Surprisingly... Practically zero taste. Uh, <laughs> not zero taste. Practically, practically zero lace. Uh, look, the only lace is where I've been taking sips from. You don't, you don't have any lace on the back. Like, watch this. I've just tilted it as much as I can, and there's like zero trace of lace. All around, this is just a very bitter, very malty, syrupy, grainy taste. I'm going to try to explain that a little better for you. Wow. Just very well-rounded, all of those ingredients combined. You don't really have any significant, you know, uh, overwhelming tastes over one another. It's well-rounded. That's about it. Holy jumping uppity whoopity. Still got a lot of head. Wow. <sighs> Loving this hobgoblin dude, man. I just can't stop looking at him. I'm worried that over time. Uh, you know, I thought that over time maybe this hobgoblin would kind of disappear. You know, sometimes things wear away. That's engraved in there quite well. I'll tell you what, I'll be drinking a lot of other beers out of this. Hmm. All right, people, you got it. A hobgoblin gift pack. One beer, one glass, one hobgoblin. All right, everybody. Enjoy. Thanks for joining me again. Please subscribe down below. Likey, likey. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Take it easy.